Hi, my name is Ethan Lambert. I'm a junior in animal science, and um, I'll be talking today about the misuse of phenobutazone, otherwise known as bute, in the equine industry. So the first question is, um, what is bute? And it's short or commonly known as phenobutazone, which is that often referred to as bute, is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug for the short-term treatment of pain and fever in animals. So this picture here that just showed up is um, just kind of like capsule or oral and then the bottle is injectable. Um, it just depends on your personal preference or what your veterinarian recommends. Um, and those are just two of the uh, forms of butte. Another common question is why use butte? Um, because it's available in granules which is uh, basically a powder like you would sprinkle it on the feed for example. Um, or tablet form uh, or a paste either or they all can be used um, orally and administered by the mouth or it can be used in liquid form for injection I personally would use the orally because it's uh, probably it's cheaper and it's just easier to do less invasive on the horse and um, so for matters that way and as it says below it can be administered in a multitude of ways you know, people also use butte because it's easily accessible um, you can get it easily through your veterinarian or um, ways like that or it is also inexpensive and effective when used properly and when it you know obviously when it's effective and it's not expensive you're going to want to buy it and you're going to want to use it quite often which also leads into why it is um, abused and misused in the industry so the next slide talks about improper use of butte these are examples of what you should not do and what you should never do. You should also, if you see these or come across them, you should report them to a veterinarian or someone who can handle the matter and take care of it to eliminate improper use. So continuing on the slide, using something you shouldn't do is using high dosages for extensive periods of time. Uh, as stated, and longer than 14 days is extremely detrimental to a horse. Um, after 14 days, it really takes a toll on the uh, digestive tract as well as possibly the entire body of the horse. Um, phenobutazone is not to be given to a horse longer than 14 days except for instances dealing with laminitis or uh, chronic arthritis problems. When you are dealing with one of these situations with laminitis or chronic arthritis, it is key that the minimum dosage of two grams should not be exceeded and it should be in oral form. They recommend that it be in oral form because um, it's less invasive on the horse and when you have to continually give a horse a shot after you know 14 days of continual um, needles that builds up scar tissue and can be detrimental to the horse. The horse should also be monitored extremely carefully since some side effects can appear when the horse is on a small dose as well as look for any abnormal or odd behavior while this horse is on an extremely long-term um, butte regimen. Another um, improper use of butte commonly is, uh, occurs via incorrectly following labels. Uh, it's clearly this can be detrimental to your horse's health as well as possibly fatal if not caught in time. In the bo bottom right corner here I have included a bottle that um, a phenobutazone injectable is clearly stated in the red boxes there the um, proper amounts that should be administered and it, it also says um, how much grams per weight to use and finally uh, another way to improperly use it is to disregard the recommended dosages your veterinarian has provided you you should always trust your veterinarian when administering butte if you don't feel comfortable doing it allow your veterinarian to come out and do it for you but please follow the advice of your veterinarian as they are very experienced and went to school for this sort of thing and you should always trust them
Next is the proper use of butin horses. This is what you should do, and this is the protocols that you should follow, as well as um, if you have any questions, consult your veterinarian about it. So first on the, the slide is the recommended dose. The recommended dosage for a thousand pound horse is two to four grams per day for four to six days. Now these numbers will vary on a per case basis and when your veterinarian recommends something else, please ask questions and um, get a clear understanding of why um, those numbers have changed. The recommended um, by the manufacturing company is based on extensive and very extensive research that um, they, they've done to obtain approval to sell the drug and market it. And um, you know, also along those lines, the extensive research um, allows it to be marketed and used in a safe and effective manner at all times. And once again, I can't reiterate it enough, most, just work with your veterinarian to provide the most precise and accurate dosage. Um, doing that will you know, prevent side effects and will ultimately help heal your horse quickly and efficiently and effectively. And just always, always just think of the health, horse's health first and um, no matter what the cost. In conclusion to the presentation, um, the recommended dosages are scientifically proven and should be followed unless, of course, your veterinarian says otherwise. Next is using high doses of butte for extended periods of time will take a negative toll on the horse's body and is proven to be detrimental to the overall health. And lastly, when in doubt, consult a veterinarian for professional help. And I'd just like to say thank you for listening. In uh, the next slide, I've also included my work cited. And thank you very much.